Hi, I'm Sue Walker, and I'm going to show you an easy sticky bun recipe. The ingredients are one cup of hot water, one teaspoon of salt, one half cup of sugar, one half cup of butter, three eggs lightly beaten, four and one half cups of flour, two packages of active dry yeast, one fourth cup of tepid warm water, and one half teaspoon of sugar. And for the filling, you will need one half cup of brown sugar, one half cup of white sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and one half cup of soft butter. The ingredients for the caramel are one cup of packed brown sugar, one half cup soft butter, one half cup of light corn syrup, and one cup of chopped pecans. The first step is to proof the yeast. So take your yeast and pour it into one fourth cup of tepid water and one teaspoon of sugar and mix it. Pour the hot water into a large mixing bowl and to the hot water add the salt, the butter, and the sugar and mix it together. Let this mixture sit until the butter is melted and then let it cool. Now we can add the eggs and the yeast. Mix in the flour until completely mixed in. The dough will be very, very sticky. Cover it and let rise until double. After the dough has risen, punch it down with your hand, cover it with a towel, and place in the refrigerator for a few hours. After the dough is chilled, take it out and knead it a little bit with some flour, and then proceed to form your rolls. Take a rolling pin, and roll it out into a rectangle. Spread the dough with your soft butter. Now mix the sugars and cinnamon together and sprinkle over the dough. Now I'm going to show you how to roll up the dough. Starting at the edge closest to you, take the dough in your fingers and start rolling it. You want to roll it as tight as you can. Just keep rolling and if your fingers get too sticky, add a little flour to your fingers and just keep rolling until it's all rolled up. To cut the individual rolls, take a long piece of thread, slide it underneath the roll, and cut your rolls into one and a half to two inch thick slices. Place your rolls in a greased cake pan. Cover your rolls with a towel and let them rise until they're double in size. Mix the brown sugar, butter, and syrup together and pour into the bottom of a 13 by 9 cake pan. Then sprinkle this with your pecans. Bake at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. After you take the caramel rolls out of the oven, let them sit for about 5 minutes. Then you're going to want to take a larger pan and invert your caramel rolls onto this pan. Let it sit for a few minutes to let the caramel sort of seep out. Take your cake pan off and you're ready to eat. And that is an easy sticky bun recipe.